Cooper. I'm tired of these guys saying the same lines and playing the same. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague baseball on MLB The Show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Oakland Athletics. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And see the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Ryan Noda. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. Just about set, showing the slab in today's game. Number 38. Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. One of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. As the lefty gets to work, Tommy Edmond in the box now. No balls and a strike. Just missed. That That's just misses. Now two balls and a strike. Ball. One strike. Ground ball up the middle. Allen. Over to first. And they get Edmund for the out. Okay, let's check out the lineup. And a big part of it, a guy with a great track record, Paul Goldschmidt. It's kind of a joke that this guy's got a career OPS over 900. I mean, there are a lot of players that hope that they could just do that in one season, but he's done it his entire career. And in reality, there's only about 60 players that can claim that type of production. Paul Goldschmidt nope. in the box here lets that one Hold go on, for no a ball. Fight. And another ball. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Next offering upstairs. One out, base is empty. That one finds the zone, and it's three and one. There's a strike. I got three and two. One down, base is empty. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Gets a piece and stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Battling here as he fouls it away. Kicks and fires. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Now here is Lars Newtbar. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And here it comes. Popped up. Allen makes the catch, and there's two down. Here's Nolan Gorman. Two hits in the game last night. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a pop-up. Noda settles underneath it. 
He's got it. And that is out number three. The cards leave one, and the A's will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy and our pitcher tonight, Stephen Matz. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA, and you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out, and not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, yeah, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took them out on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. Este nope. Yuri ball Ruiz one. at the plate now. That's ball one. And another ball. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Two strikes. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Contreras drifts towards it, makes the grab, and there's one away. And time now to check out the A's lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Ryan Noda. Well, Boog, just an on-base machine. Last month, he was on almost half the time, at OBP over 450. Just a really tough out. I mean, this guy's a catalyst for this offense right now. So digging in, Ryan Noda. Homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. I and a big swing and a miss. This is a hitter who takes his game one. to another level playing at night. That's and it's even ball. up. Wouldn't Two chase one. that time. And he deals. In the air, left field. Walker calls it in, two away. That is good. The second base. He's riding to the plate now for Oakland. Zach Gellar appeared as a pinch hitter yesterday. Back in the lineup for this one. Right through there for a strike. Two outs, base is empty. One That's ball, inside. Two strike. Two down, nobody on. And there's a ball. Two, two, down. In the air, out towards left center. Carlson puts it away, and that'll do it. Scoreless after one. Letting them know what the back is about. Swatted free loaded songs when their hands was out. Hope you dudes in the street wear a Teflon. If they don't like Frosty, then I'm going to give them F spawn. Go ahead and watch me. And welcome back to the ballpark. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that big arm that really stands out. Here comes a pitch. That's in there. It's 0-1. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. That one in there across the letters. You have a catcher that can throw like that. A pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity. 
This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. That is good. This is Dylan Carlson, a switch hitter batting right. He has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties, and yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy, but the numbers say what they say. One down, base is empty, and it's fouled away. Oh, he's a good player, but if he wants to be great, he's going to have to figure it out against right-handed pitchers. There's so many right-handers in the game that you're going to see one him ball. one after another. Two, so you would imagine with that many looks, Boog, that the adjustments got to be coming soon. Oh, he hit yeah, him. I got him. And that got him pretty flush. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Here's Nolan Arenado. Ball First one. offering, and it just misses. Yep, one and oh. And a pitch. Fought off foul. Carlson over at first with one away. The 1 1 is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Ripped to first, caught. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. Offense held a check there. Now to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland. Brent Rooker. Mats back to work. Mats in his ninth season. He features a sinker, a changeup, a slur, and he works in a slider. Fly ball to right. And there's one down. Let me Diaz now. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Carlson squeezes it. Two down. Batting good. No left field. Miguel. Here's Miguel and Duhar. Duhar measures six feet even, 29 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. And ball another three. ball. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Three in ball, today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. That's Eight. in there. And it's 2 and 2.
And they'll do it again. Two outs. Careful. That one the other way. Gorman. Fires over to first. Inning over. Hayes go quickly and quietly there. We'll move to the third with no score. I'm in the zone. Leave me alone, please. I've got a habit of doing my own thing. So if you wouldn't mind, I'm a recline. I'm my young king. Top half of the Way third go, inning. Hard, now hard. the left fielder, the Jordan, left Walker. Field. Jordan. Jordan Walker. Jordan Walker. The pitch. Ball. Ball one low. Ball. And that's Ball. outside. Pitch. That one fouled off. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And a foul ball. You know, Chris Brandon Crawford made his big league debut May 27th, 2011 at Milwaukee, and he hit a grand slam in his big league debut. No, one thing I've always admired about him is his ability to handle left-handed pitching. Stays in the big part of the field. It just has a nice swing path. Stays in the zone a long time. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Soderstrom down to first. Out on the drop third strike. Two gone. We'll take a look now at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty oh, simple man. in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Back to the top of the lineup, Tommy Edmond at the plate. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Redbirds down quietly, and we are still scoreless. As we go to the last of the third, and now here's the A's catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Strike one. Next offering is downstairs. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And the pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. Off balance throw in time. Lead off man retired here in the third. Now the batter now, Nick Allen. That's the outside corner with that one. All one's the count. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Two up, two down. Batting Abraham Toro up next for the A's. He was hitless at four at bats on Sunday. And that's off. 
the inside edge. One and oh. Wouldn't nope, chase that time. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. The wind of the pitch. That one's spoiled and the count now two and one. And a pitch. Just nope, missed. Down. Foul ball. In the air, right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. On to the fourth. Still scoreless. in Oakland John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth Paul Goldschmidt and a pitch and that one clips the corner you know, these cards, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and most chases are turning into a march of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. 0-2 now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone here. Wow, short work to send him back and start the inning, and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone. Attack mode all the way, and... Pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Lars Newtbar next up for the Cardinals. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Pitches downstairs. Two balls, one strike. Nope. Got a good eye there. Three balls, the Cardinals one strike. yet to pick up a hit here. And that one wrapped foul. And a 3-2. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And it's just foul. Out to short, Allen. Whips it across. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Up, up, up. And here is Nolan Gorman. First time up was a pop out. That's in for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Strike two. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you got a chance. One pitch ball. misses there. Two now one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. That two misses balls. the zone. Two, two and two. Fourth inning underway, no score. Oh. 
high fly ball down the left field line. Anduhar makes the catch, and that is that. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Back here in the East Bay, bottom four, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. Mats back to work. Ball, Ball one there. Ball one, no strike. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Next That's offering ball, is down low. It's a good take. <laughs> the pitch. Popped up. Arenado under it. Puts it away for the out. That's the game. Up next. Up next. The first big thing. Ryan Noda up next for the A's. Applied to left his first time. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Next up for the A's, Zach Gillock. Pull for one with a fly out to center. There's a strike. All one's the count. And now the lefty. Big stock center field. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Good to time it up any better than that. You often hear the phrase short to it, long to it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the ball in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Rooker can't hold up, and that's a strike. One. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. All tied up here in the second game of the series. And this is inside. He's able to get back to avoid the double play. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Diaz in the box now. Take strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. It usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Arenado takes up to the base for the force out, and that is that. So they strand a pair. We're headed to the fifth. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And we're back. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. As the lefty gets to work. Misses inside, and it's one to know. Contreras, multi-time All-Star, 31 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Hey. And clips the inside corner. Hey. 
That clips the inside corner for a strike. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now the Dylan. And now Dylan Carlson hit by a pitch his first time up. California kid played for his dad at Elk Grove High School. His teammates there with Nick Madrigal. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey. And he takes a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. And another ball. Just missed with a good breaking ball in. Looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or swing and miss. Good job on both sides. Kicks and deals. That one is upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The kick, the 3 2. And there's nope. ball four. Ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Arenado in his 12th season, over 1,000 runs batted in in his career, and he was selected for the All-Star game last year. Arenado batted for the second time, and that's strike one. Not what he's looking for there in the OO Cal. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. And that one fouled off. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. And here it comes. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Tries to hold up, appeal to first. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. And he deals. Sets him down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a core ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Walker ball, in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. Carlson off the first with two away. Not oh, no. close with that one. Two and oh. No, that pitch not even close. A 2 0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Two outs. And a foul ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Fought off foul. Two two now. On the ground. And that one handled. They take the force out. And that is the inning. So one left for the Cardinals. Still no score. Leading off, no Miguel Anduha. The lefty fires. Aye. In there at the knees. 
Strike oh, one. one. You know, these athletics need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, one one. but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. That ball misses, two. and that's ball two. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have runners in scoring position because they put themselves there. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Brings it in, and there's one away. The bat, the catcher. And the batter now, Tyler Soderstrom. That one missed. Counts one and oh. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Walker pulls that one down, and there are two outs. The batter, shortstop. Now it's the shortstop, Nick Allen. Grounded out his first time. That's through there for a strike. In the air to left center. Carlson settles underneath it and makes the grab. And that ends the inning. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. New inning getting started. Here's Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford. Here comes a pitch. Just missed. And a 1 0. Breaking ball in there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Outside, ball two. Now fly ball to right center. Ripper makes the grab, one down. Now back. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. That ball misses one. the zone. Yeah, that's ball, ball one. one. The Redbirds still looking for their first hit in this one. Hey. Right through there for a strike. it off still one and two one down base is empty Galvin <laughs> in moved his feet next offering is outside in danger of losing the no hitter here Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. 
Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. A strikeout and a walk. Fly ball down the line. And that is that. So he's through six, no hit innings now. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the six. And we still have no score. I got my blessing because the father never left him. Blessing. He did it for the branch ring. Branch ring. Well, we go bottom six. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Abraham Toro. Back to work. Just missed. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out, number one. Now, the seven. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Este Yuri Ruiz will hit next. Out the corner for a strike. And it's 0-1. That one hammer, the pulled foul. It's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. It's got to find a way just to travel like fear more. The pitch. Oh. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. The one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Carlson in pursuit. They got it for out number two. Up next, the first base. Right down the number two hitter, Ryan Noda, one for two. There's a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Next one pitch one. is outside. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. And that is foul. One, two. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. And the A's are gone in order. And we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the seventh. Now up for St. Louis, Lars Newtbar. Newtbar. The pitch. And ball one. Just missed. Here's a line drive, and that's going to end the no-hitter. It's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. So history wasn't meant to be in this one, but it's been quite the performance. And that's tough for a pitcher to swallow. I mean, when you're right on the brink of a no-hitter, just pitched a heck of a game. Just couldn't make it to the finish line. Nolan Gorman next up for the Cardinals. First That's pitch doesn't find the zone. Mm -hmm. 
with the go-ahead run at first here in the top half of inning number seven. And that's off the inside edge. Two balls, no strikes. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Number 14 up and loosening in the pen. Miller also getting ready. And now two balls and a strike. That's towards center. Ruiz under it. Pulls it in for the out. Wilson Contreras digs in now. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And fouled off. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The pitch. One ball, two strikes. To short, could be two. To second, that's nope. one. What a Ooh, double yeah. play that was. Getting over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back in Oakland, yeah, play, set play. for the last half of the, the seventh. Second Here's baseman. the second baseman, yeah. Zach Gellar. Yeah. The line of the pitch. Grounded to Gorman. Whips it to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now batting, right fielder. Brett. Digging in for Oakland, Brent Rooker. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. This one blasted the other way. Down the line, and it's a foul ball. Not popping that bad. Had the distance for the off ball home run, but many times you have that slice going to the opposite field, and he just couldn't keep that one fair. All tied up here, the bottom of the seventh. Three. Struck him out without a swing. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Diaz up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Two down, nobody on. Fouled off left side. He's begging, give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. And now the lefty. That's in there. And a count one and two. Hayes looking to put the go-ahead run on base. Here in the second game of the series. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. And the pitch. And he chases that one. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three.
We go to the eighth, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Dylan Carlson. Dylan Carlson. The pitch. Up the middle. First out in the top of the eighth. You want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Here's Nolan Arenado. First pitch misses. Wouldn't chase that time. Well played umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And That's another cool. ball. Jordan Walker in the St. Louis on deck circle. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. And a four-pitch walk. Well, they start to look a little gas to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot. Or not. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Number 38 out of the game, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Number 14 will take over here. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. One down. Jordan Walker, the next to hit. Out towards right center field. Rooker trying to get to it. Makes a nice grab and a full sprint. Two away down. There's Crawford now. Open stance on that left side. One finds the zone. Going around. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Luis Medina, the young right hander, up and throwing. And that one fouled off. Two gone. The possible go ahead run at first. One ball. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. That two misses, balls. and it's two and two. Two outs. And there's a ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Tommy Edmond up next for the Cardinals. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position, so some pressure pitches coming up in this next A.B. And yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Righty delivers. Fall off foul. Two on, two outs. 
That just and misses, back. and the count is even two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That one to first. He'll do it himself. They miss a big chance to take the lead here late. Miguel Andujar. The line to kick the pitch. Hey. That one's in there. That's strike one. Action in the pen down there. Andrew Kittredge up and throwing. Thompson also throwing. Yohan. Bounce to third. Zips it to He's first. Out. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. Now, now that play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Tyler Soderstrom up next for the A's. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. 0-1. Down, base is empty. One and that's ball. in the dirt. Two Gonna count one and two. Tapped in front of the plate. And that chance handled. And oh. that quickly, two away. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Here's the shortstop at the play. Nick Allen. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. And there's the strike. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Just off the outside edge, and the count two and one. Another ball. Abraham Toro next to bat for the A's. The wind of the pitch. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Two down, nobody on. That's out to center field. Carlson settles underneath it. Nabs it. And the inning is over. It's the ninth, and we are tied. Just want to see that stink on your face. Funk up the plays. We're just trying to dance, yo. Turn up the bass. Back here with my pal singing. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. And a pitch. Hit. A leadoff single and the go ahead run is aboard. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So up next, Lars Newtbar. And a good eye there.
that one off the mark. And that's ball two. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. The other way. On a second, they get one. Oh, he's in Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. And up next for St. Louis, Nolan Gorman. Up the middle. There's one. Double play. And that sends us to the bottom of the ninth. We are tied. One hit in the inning, but no one left. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. And we still have no score. I think we all just jumped across that line. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Andrew Kittredge. You're a leader. Now, Digging in for Oakland, Abraham Torre. And a pitch. And that one is inside ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Helsley, the closer, is getting loose. The 1-0. Fouled off. He was late. Righty to the play. Ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up to two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Este Yuri Ruiz. Known for his late inning heroics. Yeah. Swing and a miss. One one. Oh, one Trying to count. keep good speed off the bases. That's to third. Or an out of the first in time. And that quickly, oh, two away. Well, there's a lot right on that at bat right there. A nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Next up for the A's, Ryan Noda. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Trying to send this extra innings. Nope. A little bit low. Oh, Next offering right. misses. And a count two and one. That one fouled off. And the righty deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. This to third. Oh, he gloves it from his backside, and they get the out. Three up, three down for him there. Tenth inning coming up. No score. 
We're in extras here, and now the catcher comes up to him. Wilson Contreras. And the right hander back to work. That one misses. Ball one. Now one and oh. And strike one to the catcher. And a swing and a miss there. So if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. And that's downstairs and outside. That's a really good take. Swing and a high fly ball to left. One away. Dylan Carlson next up for the Cardinals. He's all for one. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. Swing and a miss. Oh, it's 0 1. 1. This guy's usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. Right handed reliever. There's a strike. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Here in the top half of the 10th. And a base hit. Here comes the runner. Now a long throw home. He will score and they take the lead. One nothing. Picks himself now up at RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. One down, runner at first. Now it's going to be Nolan Arenado. And that's outside. And that is ball one. Carlson leads off first with one away. Fastball for a strike. And a count one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Trevor Gott appears to be getting loose. The pitch. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. Two balls, two strikes. Squirts away a little bit, and the runner holds. This one doesn't get the call. And now it's three and two. Well, as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll eat at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the up here it a little bit. Out to center. Ruiz on his way over. Makes the grab on the run. Two down. The bat. The left hand. One. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. That catches the corner. One run across in the frame so far and here in extra innings. And it's one and one. And the pitch. Foul ball there. Two outs. And that one is lifted in the air. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Coming home. The relay. Safe. Well done, drives in the run. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Trevor Gott gets the call from the pen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Yeah. 
man in scoring position with two away. And next is the designated hitter, Brandon Crawford. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, two down here in extra innings. In for a strike, and the count is 0-2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Caught him looking for the K. So it's two runs on two hits. No errors and a runner left. Last chance to even things up. We head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Cardinals two and the A's nothing. Welcome back and here comes the closer Ryan Helsley. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win. Three four five due up for the home team striding to the plate now for Oakland Zach Gellar one for three. And here it comes. Out front, rip foul. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field, way back there. And it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Out of the play. That really hurts right there. This is no right time to gamble. When you're down in the ball game, you've got to be sure if you're going to advance a runner or even try to score right there that you're going to be safe. Just a poor decision. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Brent Rooker. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Line to left. That's a base hit. Headed for the plate. He scores, and they trail by one. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Making a move to first, on to run for Oakland, Daryl Hernandez. One down, and it's a Ledmus Diaz. 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. We can see a shift right here, only down a run, and it feels like anything can happen. One swing of the bat changes everything. A triple digits. Cold night tonight, Borg, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. Here comes the 0-1. Arenado slings to second, and that's a double play to end it. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras in the 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. And your final score here today, 2-1. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. I love the money. 
on San Diego with some boys. Three days no sleep, can't keep boys. Boys bugging on pesticide. Full booty stream like a bonafide. MK2, it's a joy ride. She jelly stream like Mr. High. Boys in the stoop, all the yo, we cry. Got it in the bars, one my five guys. Mail with the fries, eyes on the prize, it's the bang, bang, bang. Gave me no money, but you say, say, say. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals. Two runs on four hits. No errors. They left eight runs on ten. Four hits. No errors. They left three runs on ten. Four hits. No errors. They left three runs on ten. Four hits. No errors. They left three runs on ten. Four hits. No errors. They left three runs on ten. Four hits. No errors. They left three runs on ten. Four hits. No errors. They left three runs on ten. Four hits. No errors. They left three runs on ten.